Hello everybody and welcome to another Agile IT Tech Talk. Now, this is another simple one, but it's gonna be foundational nonetheless. In the next couple of minutes, I'm gonna run through the Teams hierarchy with Teams, Channels, Tabs, and Private Chats. I'm also going to explain where things live in the larger Microsoft 365 environment. Knowing how all of this fits together is gonna to be really important later when we get into talking about security and compliance with Microsoft 365. If you don't remember everything in this video, don't worry. In our next video, I'm gonna be doing a straight to the point rundown of the Microsoft 365 substrate and how security and compliance controls work on top of it, which is gonna make this a lot easier to remember. But let's go ahead and get to it. So here we are in Teams, and as a whole, this is Microsoft Teams. We all know and love it. And then over here on the side, we have the Teams within Teams. And these align to our organizational units usually, but it can also be ad hoc groups. But in short, you have teams within teams. Then within each team, you have a series of channels. And channels are broken up into posts where you have your individual messages. And it's important to know that these messages live in exchange. So, that's gonna come down when I explain how compliance and security tools work on top of everything. Now, additionally, you have files. And let's go ahead and put one in here really quickly. And when we upload a file into a private channel, this exists in SharePoint. Now, in addition, we have private chats. Now within the chats, and you can see here, I've already told Megan Bowen not to cause any security problems in this new environment. I'm taking bets on if you guys think she's going to break things or not. My guess is yes. Now, when I do a chat with Megan, once again, this exists within Exchange. Now, when we share a file within a channel that lives in SharePoint. Now, when I share a file with Megan by copying it down here to the chat, takes a second to upload. And of course, let's start out right off the bat. I'm sending her a list of the 500 most used passwords. So this file exists in OneDrive for Business and it exists in my personal OneDrive for Business account and not, not to be confused with personal OneDrive. However, OneDrive for Business also exists in SharePoint. This is important to know later when we're talking about security and compliance, where everything is sitting so that you know how everything is protected. Now, the next thing I wanna do talking about Teams is when we go back to Teams, in each of the channels, we have the tabs with the posts, the files, and a wiki. Now we can also add additional tabs if we want to add something like Planner, which is really nice for project tracking. And we're just gonna create a new one. We're gonna call the tab Sales Tasks and save it. Takes a few seconds to get all set up, but then here we are and we have our first planner. Later on, I'll be going back into an older tech talk I did around setting up project management using Planner. It's a simple Kanban method. If you're used to working with Trello, Workaday, um, some implementations of Jira, you're very familiar with your Kanban buckets. So in short, you have Microsoft Teams. Within Teams, you have Teams. Within Teams, you have Channels. And within Channels, you have Tabs. Your communications within each channel exists in Exchange. Your private chats exist in exchange. Your files in each of the public teams or public channels exist in SharePoint, while the files shared within chats exist in the OneDrive for business of the person who sent the file. Now, I hope this is fairly straightforward. If you don't quite understand how this all lays out and stacks, I'm gonna show off a really good PowerPoint in our next video, but like I said, this one's super simple, but super foundational. I'm glad you were able to join us and stay tuned for the next video.